I think they both feel like they know there's something they're supposed to do with that box, but they're not sure what. Oh, I need to scale stuff. Baby, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Kitties. Hell yeah, they are. Hello. Are you hungry? You did just eat. Maybe you just want attention? I don't know. Wait. Oh, I heard it. Want some milk? Want some milk? You want it or not? I might, I'm my pants pulled all up like a grandma. <laughs> Her. Want some milk, little fella? Little critter? Little varmint? I guess not. I'll give you a little kiss, though. Give you a little kiss. Kiss for that little baby. Oh, just a little baby. She's baby. I like you. Yeah. Fascinated. Why? I'm here, I'm clear, and I'm ready to start anime discourse. Such confusion on what to do. <laughs> I love her. Adjust pant. Adjust grandma pant. Okay. Oh, that's right. We were still before we head in for the night, so we gotta talk to our papa. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Well, yeah. What are they doing in there? What are they doing over there? <laughs> Jeez, I'm sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was be because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Plus you have all that free ham. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. I know, she's so fucking... She can do anything. But if she's theoretically just a normal human, does she not actually jump on y -Ors? What is it a metaphor for? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different, huge and spooky, makes weird noises at night. <laughs> Wait, I want to see the bird. No, I wish to see the bird. The bird. The bird. Hmm. <gasps> Yeah, I guess I just hadn't noticed before. <laughs> oh, the coconut monkey was there. One sec. Hey, be you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost though? <laughs> May seriously, it was the groundskeeper. 
What? What? I thought you believed in ghosts. <laughs> I do, kinda, I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I don't just assume that every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very least. But anyway, how could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. Oh, hello for the- thank you for the raid happily. And thank you, raiders. Look at- raiders, look at baby. Oh shit, she demands freedom. Now what do they clamor for? Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> baby. Yeah, they're learning to get around and now they demand freedom. Uh, probably still a few weeks before bottle feeding is over. I do need to ask about um, getting some more baby wet foods so I can start mixing it into their formula and get them ready for the taste. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery and we accidentally like opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or you know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa. And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. You must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. <laughs> you know it, dude. Good night as hell, bra. Good night as F. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was from Hades Town. Have I made myself their lord Just to fall upon the sword Of some papa's minor chord Who will lead them? Anyway. <clears throat> oh, shit. Fire. Don't just become fireball just because you're losing. It's immature. It does seem like it's probably best to just avoid fighting most of the time. Ow, 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 oh, don't. I, I maybe got a little distracted. Shit. It's fucking... Th this is a game within a game! It's all the rage! Oh, oh... Oh god! Oh god! The woods are alive with the sounds of night. Stop it! Make a fucking sound of music reference. You can't just make a sound of music reference just because I happen to make a different musical reference of a cooler musical. Despite all the rage, it is still just a game in a game. <laughs> Despite all my shame, it's still just a game in a game. Bam. Alright, we need to get some health and then kill that king. Whoa. I think it was it was Kirsha that I was talking to, where she fucking hates the sound of music. But I love uh I think favorite things oh god, oh god is bitchin'. And I really like the outcast cover the of are it. Alive with totally real graveyard ghosts. And it's good. I have less health than I did before, you might have noticed. Damn it. <laughs> when the dog bites, 
when the bee stings. When I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. This is a, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> Toki. Yeah, that is a weird one in terms of a Christmas song. Oh, look, oh wait, there's a little yeah. key there. Oh, 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 it's the lock and key and, and the coconut monkey. Oh, and the pennant is up there. Excellent. Bedtime? Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> do wa do not no do fa wa fai do no fa. Wait, I I skipped I skipped a lot of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's do wa do not no do. Re wa re mo no re Mi wa mi na no mi Fa wa fa i to no fa So wa I don't remember <laughs> Yeah, I remember the rapa. Da wa ra po no ra tu tu tu. Wait. That's right. That's that's a law. What was what was tea? Tea is tea time, right? Oh yeah, so Aizora. Can you talk? Yes. Big cat guys, big cat. No, we're talking about J JP version, it's different, but T might have been T. I don't remember that part. <laughs> For some reason you're the first thing I thought to talk to. Now Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me, and I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. <laughs> well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? <laughs> what are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now, oh, probably a tear, making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. What? A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes are of life. They are dragging in, oh, like they're dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Bug. Bug. Ah! Oh god, oh god. <laughs> 
They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Closing the sky? Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it, it is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? <laughs> what about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. And not because I am caring. Oh yeah, she was she oh I say oh Yeah yeah yeah. The beginning is moments ago. I forgot that they make it she. That makes sense. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Heat death. Hubei will show you. <laughs> Where's our little band guys? Perhaps the fact that the universe didn't choose you makes you the most chosen creature. Yes, I'm still going for this joke. <laughs> Beautiful. Morning at, at oh morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hell yeah, I am to see you. Hey dude, at the old Snalkin, <laughs> come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. But June. <laughs> Sharkle. Poor Greg. In this playthrough, he must be like, why don't they want to spend any time with me at all? Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Twould die in the wild. I will sing you a song, and you will be remembering. <laughs> Thank you very much, Soundings, for the follow. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? <laughs> no! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. <laughs> you were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there were, then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? <laughs> sure. Make a silly face. 
you know, if you did have a baby, okay, I'm out. <laughs> uh -huh, okay, sweetie, I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash baby? Cordelia. Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Ooh. <laughs> okay, bye, I'm leaving. <laughs> ah, her poor mother who will never be a grandmother. Just like my mother. <laughs> That's true. I do have children. I have miracle rat children. May says, Mom, does this look like the face of a cat that ever hooks up with anyone at all? Hey, May. May, May is at least pan romantic. She, she implied that she doesn't care about boy versus girl. You alright? Yeah, I guess why? You look like... You went through the dryer. But in my playthrough, it's canonical that she's never had a sex, or at least she said so. <laughs> On the wrong setting. Uh, yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Nah, maybe another time. Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Uh, here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Somers. That cheer you up? They did. Yay. Yeah! Chazikov's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. <laughs> you talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. Selmers. I just noticed that she's wearing a skirt. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Hell yeah. I had a beef hero for dinner and it was good. Felt like a real hero. Uh, oop. What kind of beef? Hero beef. Beef for heroes. Me. Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> yeah, G-Y-R-O hero. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. It's not a sandwich thing, it's like a wrap thing. <laughs> like a pita wrap thing. Kinda. Oh, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Whatever. Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. <laughs> it is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? <laughs> Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct, to seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. Another d Yes. Always thinking that you'll get some kind of special, special treatment just because you do show me. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks though, not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways, perhaps invisible, to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Cole? He returned home, and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been into 
he had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. <laughs> when one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this, so cute. This is so fucking cute. One sec. Here we go. Stop at each fruit with a mech. What does that even mean? Look at it, look at it. Worms are helpful friends. They aren't very fast and have no special skill, but they try their best. Oh, I see the worm. Mission start. A worm mech. Oh, I see. Lava is defeat. Hill is stop. Ba 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 ba. Let's get to it. Ba ba. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Beautiful. We had to dis dissect a worm in middle school and it smelled gross. It smelled real gross. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. Oh, Adina Astra. Oh god, you dissected a cat that's awful. We actually we did do the frogs in high school. That was sad. I wish we didn't have to. But but worms were like, I wasn't sad about it. It was just like, whatever. Yeah, ah. Oh. Oh, never mind about ever thinking about possibly having gotten to med school. I only want to dissect dead people. I don't want to. I would rather dissect a dead person than a dead cat. <laughs> don't they have any free people from a body form or something? All the kids could just get together and dissect instead. Uh, you know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story, how Adina journeyed to the frozen lake, how she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she in her quest turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. Hmm. She probably died. She lived well. She did many amazing things. It is not sad to die having done so much. I guess. Still sucks dying. <laughs> it is a shame. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. You know what? That would be some unique VTuber content. I just dissect a dead person on stream. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Cool. Adina. Adina. And then we could have a big fight with between me and the Terms of Service about if that's technically some kind of violation. Because I don't think they mention anywhere that you can't dissect a dead body if it's properly done. Adina! Look, there's actually a checkbox. It's right next to, you know, the, the one for organ donation. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region, you have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Oh, does she want to convert the church into like a, a homeless place? A homeless shelter? <laughs> right here, right across the street. 
Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Fuckers. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now, but there are better hands than mine. It's funny, like, in, in this, you know, like, video game, uh, where it's, like, literally one guy. <laughs> he represents more people, but also he is literally one guy. Mm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately? I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I like- I think I met God. What? It was a dream. <laughs> I don't think it was a dream. It was a dream. But God talks to us that way, right? Sure. <laughs> sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert. It was like the shore. What the fuck am I missing down here? Of this giant black ocean, I could see, like, forever into the sky, and below it was just sand. As far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something, and I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill, or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? <laughs> yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. They say anything. Yeah. They like didn't care. <laughs> they were kind of a jerk. No person mother of course was meant to be donated for medical stuff and then it's just sold to be a military test. What the fuck? That sucks. Yeah. They like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there. No, I mean they didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters or this giant hole. <laughs> they kept talking about this giant hole in the center of everything growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? <laughs> Just analyzing my dreams now. You know, I had this problem when I was in high school and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured, well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where... If we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. What, at your most vulnerable? I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is it something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure. It's your job to believe. <laughs> well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? <laughs> but you're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what's the point of you? <laughs> May with the grumpy face. I have to go. Okay. Damn. We gave her an existential crisis. <laughs> we just ruined her whole shit. <laughs> Oh, 
hey hon look look if, if your shit gets that torn up by someone just like asking you if you actually believe in god as a pastor i think maybe that's not may's fault <laughs> hey hon are you still having headaches yeah but being out and about helps fresh air thanks for visiting me here hon it brightens my day feels weird being here today like there's so much empty space come on sunday it's full then I bet it is. Sorry, you have to work because we have money problems. <laughs> May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. <laughs> Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. But see, that that's like, I feel like she's finding another what her point is. <laughs> it doesn't have to be about God. She could just be helping the homeless and stuff. Ha, ha, ha. I think the Bible might have a few contradictory takes in various parts. <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. <laughs> tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Oh no, he's gonna leave? Are you leaving? Yup. Gonna hop a train tonight. Head east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy, poster boards and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yup, yup. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. It doesn't sound like he's gonna fucking kill himself. Bruce, you better be fucking okay. You better be fucking okay, Bruce. Bruce, don't die. Bruce, don't die. I would cry if you died. Oh, Bruce, you don't have to die, sweet Bruce. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor K, Pastor K, Pastor K. Pastor K, Pastor K, Pastor K. <laughs> Pastor K, Pastor K, no. Pastor K, Pastor K. We gotta tell her mama. Mama. No. No. I'm just a little gal. <laughs> She legit just ran away. I don't know. Mate is a child. <laughs> Mate is child? Trying to tell me that Pastor K's never gotten sassy, unbelieving children to deal with? I'm sure that's like half her day. Whatever, dude. Bark, bark. <laughs> yeah, May's twenty. I told. I, I said she's a child. Look, I was a little shit in college. What you gonna do? 
Worst exit, easily. Mouse, mouse. Maybe we're all horrible people, and nothing matters, and the big hole at the center of the universe is growing and growing, and there will be nothing left. Nothing. So, don't worry about it. Charity Verity. Existential Scariety. <laughs> yeah, we, well, obviously we gotta go see Lori. Oh, that's right. Wait, I need to get up here. I always forget the way up. Ha. Hey, 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 hey. So up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. <laughs> hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? <laughs> it's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Wait, one sec. Uh, I might have to end a little er early tonight. I think I have, like, swollen tonsil or something. I got coughs. But, but I mean, not right now. Not yet. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the Click Clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I saw it was an interesting coincidence. Hey, hey, hey. May is a person, even if she's a black cat. Cats are people. They're just little people that live in your house. Small town. Ha. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally let's. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. <laughs> I used to smoke when I was younger. <laughs> I'm allergic. Oh, really? I'm allergic. But my friend B does it around me anyway. Uh, I thought it was a fake cigarette. How long did you do it for? Okay, it was once. I was younger, though. I was 12. <laughs> good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so do you remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Gonna make it flatter? Kinda, but no, you'll see. I'm gonna pick a new thing to squish him with. Alright then. E-cigarettes have been around for a good while, but I feel like this game was before... No, wait, God, it was 2017, right? It might not have been as big a fad back then, but it was starting to be a big fad. I've mentioned it before, but um, <laughs> in Cube's comic, Kiwi Blitz, there's a character who's like using an e-cigarette at one point, And I remember she she's mentioned <laughs> that, that I thought that at the time, like, oh, this is never going to catch on, but it, it's a fun sci-fi idea, so I'll do it. <laughs> And uh, then eventually it did catch on. <laughs> Do you know what we don't have around here? A taco place. Serial killers. Oh yeah, hmm. I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but we were never around to get our own serial killer. <laughs> you ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so... A few long... Wait, what? Close to 80% of respondents in a 2017 Truth Initiative study aged 15 to 24 reported using Juul also use the device. Wait. Reported using Juul also use the device. That's a weird- that's a weirdly framed st statistic, cause like... Like, do they mean, like, this is 80% of them reported that they used Jewel and also used a device? Huh? Huh? <laughs> 
Is it? Is it though? I don't know. Let me see the methodology. Wait, but doesn't that just mean that 80% of the people who have used one used it in the last 30 days? Thus just, it just, just letting you know that they like haven't like quit? So like it's not like saying that like 80% of people at that age have you have vaped. It's just saying that the of those young people who are saying that they have vaped, they've done it recently. That makes sense. I don't think there's going to be a lot of super young adults who are like, "Yeah, I quit years ago." <laughs> and we went on the subway, and like there's no railing down there above the tracks, and I had to, this sudden urge to like shove someone off it. It was weird and I felt guilty about it for a long time, but like I didn't actually do it, so... I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. That was different. <laughs> no, I didn't. A lot of people think so. I, I assume it wasn't- I assume she wasn't trying to kill- kill him. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people are really stupid. And I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So yeah, it wasn't like my first step on the way to serial killerdom. <laughs> you did kill that bird as a child. That was your first step to serial killerdom. Sorry. Hehehe. <laughs> I wish cigarettes weren't everything they are and were instead the way that they look in anime. <laughs> it's cool. You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh yeah, that's like every single picture of that meteor. <laughs> Weird. Wonder if they knew. Yeah, but we live in a world where cigarettes suck and, and, and make you die, and also I'm allergic to them. So, like, in this reality, I don't even want to pretend to be. And I and they wouldn't have the awesome, very well-crafted smoke animation that they have in anime. It wouldn't be the same. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Yeah! Yeah, they make me cough like crazy. Oh god, your little dudes are- it's like it hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, geez. Just, like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's, there's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh god, I don't even know where to start. Just, like, be careful. Alright. Thanks for the warning about whatever you're warning me about. <laughs> Don't mention it. Laters. Eh. Oh, oh, this is what became of the two little guys. <laughs> Flat. Pro tip, don't jump on power lines. It's unsafe for everyone. Hey, May. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Mm-hmm. Oh, ha, ba, ja, ba. oh, obviously, I, I, I gotta go down there and maybe talk to the old lady. Pro Sup, tip. Duder? Don't try to flatten vape machines on power lines or jump <laughs> on train cigarettes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Swearity Barity. Wait. <laughs> hey, how you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some space bugs. 
No, not space bugs, like, not bugs, and not in space, like things beyond bugs, in some places beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome, she's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? I mean, didn't we name her Maylinny? Just checking in. Want to hang out? Just checking in. You have checked in officially. I check thee. <laughs> I don't like Judge Judy. I like watching entire actual court proceedings like a like a cool kid. <laughs> No one can survive their arm just falling off or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. <laughs> it's still called assault if you chop an arm off. Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Um, it's battery. And pro probably more. <laughs> yeah, I have a sick addiction to just watching entire court proceedings. I don't have a favorite judge, because, like, the only court proceedings you can find online are on, like, those weird YouTube channels, like Court TV or whatever, unfortunately. And so they'll usually be, like, famous Swear cases or whatever, Sounds and it's not like they're the same judge. It's not like there's, like, one judge that happens to get all the big media cases that actually allow filming. Okay, but those actual court cases were really interesting. Hey. Hey, Angel, this is my friend, May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. Oh, maybe it's An Angel. <laughs> Just in town between trains. Going west. Oh, going west. Next. Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, on hell, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you heard anything about a ghost in town? Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Casey. It was a, a, a lab had a geritocracy episode, yeah. Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He he looked kind of like me, a little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what. I'll ask around, and if I find him, or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world, run by the worst people, and good men die for god knows what reasons. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See you, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real-life ghost. There are ghosts. Ghosts aren't, aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Damn. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, dinner time. See ya. God damn it, germ. Okay, but I gotta say, in terms of in terms of 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 cases that are interesting, I was watching one random case, and it start it, it's like one where they're trying to get an insanity gem. defense, more like gem. To, to work, and the fucking defense attorney, he was like, some people will say this is a lost cause. In fact, and then he starts like dramatically walking towards like the back of the courtroom, like he's gonna leave, and then like dramatically walking back and saying like, no, no, I can't give up. I refuse to give up. <laughs> like, like it was like him trying to. It was so stupid. <laughs> And then he, he made it about, like, the, the Constitution and brought up Paul Revere somehow. And it was really, it was so, like, performative and stupid. It turns out a lot of lawyers are super doofuses. No, it was his opening argument. <laughs> he was just trying to really sell the fact that he was gonna fucking argue this case. He was really gonna go for it. <laughs> 
the group he met them. That was also rad. That was rad. That was a cool judge. He he was talking about how one of the jurors, they only got 10 days of paid leave for jury duty according to their company's policies. And he wasn't okay with that. He was like, I see this, this you know, company isn't uh, supportive of our judicial system. So I'm, I'm in contact with them. And the longer I have to be in contact with them, it may become more of a public issue. But in the meantime, I won't be sharing much information. Wink. And then, like, every day he kept hinting, like, now I will say about this company, uh, Flip Flip, that they made a total of something billion dollars last year. So I think they can afford to give this juror some more paid time off for their jury duty. And he just, like, kept doing that, like, kind of openly blackmailing them to give uh, more paid time off for jury duty. <laughs> it was bitching. Have I seen any courtroom drama shows or movies? No, and the more I've watched actual court proceedings, the more I would actually probably not be able to stand those because I'd be like, this isn't how it works. Um, they didn't even like present the evidence ahead of time. This is like, you know, disclosure rules. It's not okay. <laughs> so like, are you always together? <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, I like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. <laughs> I like how you teens are definitely not going to get stolen away in the dark and die. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. <laughs> anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. <laughs> okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Someplace called Mulvey. Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. <laughs> I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back to the sun now. <laughs> Uh, hop. Hop. Oh, ha. Ha, ha. But yeah, there's like no good services, and I feel like this should be a thing by now. There's like no good services that are just like, here's just a bunch of random ass court cases from beginning to end that you can just watch. It's only super sensational bullshit stuff. <laughs> a leave, live reaction how will it turn out ask a law professor <laughs> Oh yeah. To be honest, I forgot exactly where I was trying to go. I'll be real. Wait. Oh, what this bitch in? <laughs> no, 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 but... Oh yeah, so the old lady isn't here today. That's what I forgot I was going down here to, to look for at some point. Lady! Lady, no! Look, I'm- uh, look, you think I was thinking of anything about what I was doing? I was talking about court cases. <laughs> Oh, it's not ghost trips, it's just normal hangs? Well then. The babies don't need any more food. Baby. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof, what are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. Proximity. 
So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. <laughs> yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order give them hell. Tawagath? Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Tawagath. Hey B, say it. Say Tawagath. 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 <laughs> Nightmare eyes. Anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit. <laughs> They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invited you. You are now invited. Woo! Okay, we got like 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Twogth. I think I went here once. Oh shit, we drove into the city. In Girl Scouts. Oh boy. To see some sort of longest night play? Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that play? <laughs> Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? <laughs> you know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? I you're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that even means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. Damn. Alright, let's go. I'm kind of nervous. Oh god, then I wonder if she sh like she should have been able to go to college with a full ride, but of course if she had to stay behind and and, and care for her parents financially, then that... Ah. Take a sippy. Papatsis. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Oh! Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. <laughs> it doesn't guarantee a full ride, but, like, if, if you're the valedictorian of your class, it's you're definitely like much more likely to get full rides uh you know offers from various colleges especially like local state colleges hey jackie you brought may yeah is that okay <laughs> yeah is that okay sure it'll be fun come on in it's a good one is there like dancing and stuff the world is ending may of course there's dancing <laughs> cool okay Bone. Yeah, look, no, I assume that, uh, that's why she couldn't. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right? You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Ha. Huh. Hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. <laughs> Bye, boys. Damn, B seems like she wants to hook up. They seem nice. This is very cool. <laughs> no drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Everyone can dance. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Look at these silly dance. Silly dance. Oh. Silly dance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitchin. 
I mean, I feel like May is honestly doing the most normal dance. Oh my god. I can control. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> I can dance too. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, well, we'll be back to like 10 feet away with an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. <laughs> like she's your daughter. No, seriously, if any. B, I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Cat, I'm a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and a dance, uh, dance, uh, dance. Uh, uh, mm. I can I can kind of dance. I have I have like low enough fear of looking stupid that I can dance. And really that's the most important thing is not worrying about looking stupid. Dancing is easy, what's the big fuss? Hell yeah. <gasps> Look at these kids. Psst. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, well, you just hanging out in the back of the party. Dishing out wisdom? <laughs> I was wondering if these were both backer characters. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski. Samantha Stevenson. <laughs> May Borowski. Borowski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow, so what's your story, May Borowski? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. I'm a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something, like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain, and yeah, there's a ghost, and I'm pretty sure it's like kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that, and my friends don't completely buy it, and I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college, I don't even want to get into that, and all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal, and that's not really working out, and I found out tonight I can dance and then I saw you. I've never just listed all that out at once before. <laughs> wow. I stole your life story. Uh, I guess. Hey, give me your hands. Oh, alright. <gasps> what? <laughs> no touchy. How can I do it? How can it be? This is so hot. Oh damn, this is so hot. Too hot. Look, dissecting a corpse live on Twitch is one thing. This is too much, though. I legit don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I am touching. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Oh, do I have to, like, click as I get closer? No. None of the buttons are doing anything. What, what am I trying to do? <laughs> oh no, my ace energy. It's too powerful. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> C. 
Satan. We did it. <laughs> oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. Fun fact, uh -huh. this sequence is based on an actual handshake a stranger gave one of the writers at a show. Oh, that's cute. Wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Borowski. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay, I need to tell my friend's location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. <laughs> Oh my god, are these more backer people? <laughs> hey B. Oh hey May. This is Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Oh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit. What's that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sick transit, Gloria nerds. Ha ha ha. You're laughing a lot. Ha 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 ha. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Ah, uh, well, a book you liked? I liked ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. I like ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Beast Mom is dead too. Oh my god. You're not even drunk, me. You're not even drunk, me. You're not even drunk, me. Ha ha ha. May, may stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line. Trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move, and Dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there lots of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because. Oh, whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Hey, 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 I'm on May's side in this situation. <laughs> Check out this bougie boy. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just cause something's interesting. Be, be, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. <laughs> well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Uh, May, do you want to dance some more? Sure. Nah, I'm good. Sure. You should go dance. <laughs> you should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Hey, Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. Mm -hmm. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Uh, may know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Uh, I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. <laughs> Look at her face. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B here drove him in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, uh... Oh no! Oh no! Be wait! Oh no! 
What was that about? Okay, okay, some of this situation, some of the situation on B for not telling May the kayfabe that we were working under here. <laughs> I think she doesn't go here, so? Dude, I don't even know. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Oh, this is a good friend. Okay, oh God, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Damn. Okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. Can get up the river quick on the roofs. I gotta use my superpower. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You c cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm going to run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Want to find out, citizen? I'm going to call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. <laughs> Seriously, I'm about to. You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Nailed it. B! B! I must, must get to be my friend B. Tell her I'm sorry that I fucked up. Her fun night. Wish she shared information with me. Information so we could have kayfabe together. I could pretend I'm in college because I once was in college. That kid was a douche. You know I'm right, you don't wanna kiss him. You're welcome, B. I'm a good, good friend. He said he worked at his uncle's firm. What a douche. Ha! Ah ha ha ha! Ba da ah ba ah. Ah B! There you are! Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know who- That- this was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? You could have been like mugged or something. All over some idiot guy? College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. That is so sad. Oh no, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> That is so sad. <laughs> Goddamn right, it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, like, and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing, just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight 
and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. That's not fair. I had no idea about any of this. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, <laughs> right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on the past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look, we're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red wi winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like, actual question? Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance. While I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement we call life. Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. Look, I think, I mean, it, you know, like, the reality of college is a, a little bit, like, besides the point to the fact that she, you know, like, doesn't have the choice to be able to do it. You know, it's, it's more like a freedom thing, like an opportunities thing. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up, or I'll learn to talk good. <laughs> I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how to not do it again. But you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. Be, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're like stronger and smarter than I, anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big of a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello, we should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good god, the fake one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? The super cute girl I met at the party? <laughs> we did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. <gasps> oh, oh, Mayday, BB. Suck together, don't suck together. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, bombshell. Beautiful. 
Yeah, but if we had to talk about like both of these characters and all these characters and and what they're feeling, I'd say they're under pressure, pushing down on you, pushing down on me. No one that Hi. Hello. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Thank you very much. Okay, so what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Or, where to even start? Where to even start? It's Thank just- Thank you very much. Hee <laughs> hee. I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? I have had these horrible nightmares that feel really real, and I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where it's all, where's it all going? What even is my life right now? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah, money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive and- and- Shush, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? Oh, her like little earnest face, look at her! As long as you like. Yeah! Garbo and Malloy. Malloy. Garbo? Everything about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any- don't got any bigger, Malloy. Oh, don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> and you were making it up as you went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You, you could, Malloy, but it would be... A whopper! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Hempoli. I mean, not, you know, the year of extremely bad anxiety, also, obviously, but the fact that Bubba was able to support you. The power of the Bubba. Come on up next, Garbo, and I contact the dead. <laughs> the power of the Bubba. When you looked in the sand and you saw his two feet prints, they were just perfect little circles because they were Bubba's. Oh, oh. That's crazy. Have we been hanging out for a fucking year? I might be running out of chances. Mm. Be waiting for oh, I'll take a hint. In my TED talk, I will discuss Baba's nature as a messianic figure. I will follow Baba. I will follow Baba wherever. Oh God. I almost read it. I almost did. Oh no! We gotta remember to do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We got we. Hey you! Oh hey you! Hey me! Oh oh hey me! <laughs> I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Oh, it wasn't... It wasn't nothing. <laughs> Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. 
the the deer person is Jackie is just out there somewhere still looking for B. Fool. <laughs> Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Yeah. Hey kid, went to a party, danced at a party, ran around in the rain, met a hot girl, totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. <laughs> but all in all, I'd party again. We need to do two we need to do more parties. <laughs> you are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. I got I got I gotta try one more time. All right, fuckers. All right, fuckers. Ha. Oh, ha. 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 Yeah, Jackie seemed all right. I mean, obviously, Jackie doesn't like me. But overall, you know, like she left the party to go look for B and was very worried about her and stuff. It's very games as art. Yeah, it's one of those like very perfect time capsules, like Scott Pilgrim, but not stupid and way sadder. That's so dumb, Hempley. That's like so fucking stupid. This is why all is it art debates are stupid as fuck. No, no. Die, die, Skeleton. so dumb though it doesn't mean anything <laughs> it like has this in like any of these kinds of like is x art arguments have this like inherent assumption that it means something like qualitatively to be art like to be art is to be greater in some way and that ain't true damn In this way, they are very similar to is X anime arguments. Because in the end, who cares? weird tonberry things that's true night in the woods is not fun and therefore good game baba is you makes my head hurt good game <laughs> makes me cry because my brain isn't big enough good game
Okay. Well, it depends. Some Pokemon have made me cry. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky made me cry. Seems like a bad idea to try attacking from the back. Or, I mean, from the top. Hard to judge hitbox. Ah! Okay. Don't panic. Level 5, Librari. Oh! Oh no, my character's getting all old and shit. I'm getting more, like, wise and stuff, but I'm old now. There's the key door. Hiya. Hiya. Rat King, you're back. What hemp is <laughs> That sure is something. There sure are many kinds of people in this world. God, for people who know about like board games and like card games and stuff, there's a there's a game I was trying to fucking remember the name of, and it's hard to describe because it's like a game where like one person is the spy and 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 it comes with like cards that determines who's the spy and and you're trying to like th complete these little missions while figuring out who's who's the spy B but but it, it's it's like there's like five rounds of missions and if you complete all the oh was it the resistance it might have been resistance that was the thing it's like i rem yeah we also played Shadows over Camelot. Yeah, we played that in Japan. Yeah, Shadows over Camelot had the had the Merlin card. I'm I'm, I'm gonna look for healing. See if I die first. Oh God. Nailed it. Avalon is a Camelot resistance? I might be thinking about that. Well, now I'm not sure. <laughs> no! Oh, okay. Then I'm just thinking about Avalon. I don't know anything about Shadows Over Camelot. One more try. Wait, that's right. I need to go left. I think. Wait, no, I didn't actually find that room. Is that it? 
Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you have to teleport out of it. I see. <laughs> I learned things. All right, we made progress in it though. Bedtime? Ye yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll consider this the end of the night. I just want to see if there's going to be a cool dream starting. No dream. No dream. I like how I said I would make this one quick, but it was like 20 minutes less than two hours. Like, whatever. <laughs> Little baby. Oh, baby. Other sleepy baby. Probably more this, though I need to ask Kirsha if she's available for more, um, you know, more, more balder sometime during the week. Little sleepy baby, you gotta say awesome Oh wait, by the way. Oh, Crickly and we we might play Phas Phasmophobia. I haven't bought it yet, but I'll I'll buy it for me and, and Kirsha. And yeah. Crickly and San Sane are both down to play it with us. I don't I've never played it. I don't know how you play it. I just know it's a thing people do. And it's like spooky, spooky co-op. Tabo. Tabo. Doki. That boy is zonked. Whoa. Asta manyanya, Taro. Boom, boom. I don't know why my throat's been hurting lately. Anyway, it's time for this next character. Hey, look, it's me. How are you doing?